All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today on the mini account, Lil Soul. Get into some live battles. This is still the deck that I'm rocking. It's 2549 is the trophy count we are at. Let's get freaking after it. My goodness. He's a level 9. Fafa Negra. Saga de Orcas. He's from Oops. He says... Good. Maybe he didn't want to come into this battle, and here's where we are going to dominate. I, dro I dropped a musketeer. He's giving me free elixir so far. He's got the freaking minions coming in. I got baby dragon. Let's go mega minion as well. See how much air he can handle. Looks like he's got an appropriate amount of air in his deck as well with minions baby dragon. But let's see how he's going to handle the baby dragon musketeer coming in. Really wish the uh, tower would have locked on to the freaking baby dragon and not the mega minion. But you know what? That happens. We're going to arrow all of this down. And then we are going to tombstone right here. And then minions will distract. But Inferno da dragon doesn't even get a single shot off on my tower. Barely even touches my minions. Let's see if they can come in and do some work. Ours are a higher level than his, which is really, really nice. My goodness. He's got a baby dragon coming in. I got a musketeer coming down. I don't want to drop the lava hound yet. I'm assuming he also has it. So I'm going to go baby dragon guards just to protect these troops. I'm sure he's going to drop minions, mega minions, something like that. Doesn't look like he's got fireball. Uh, maybe skeleton army. He could have gotten rid of my musketeer and my guards. But baby dragon, mega minion, baby dragon... <laughs> baby dragon mega musketeer take the tower down he's got a mega minion coming in he's not going to know what hits him when i drop this tombstone lava hound action let's see how he's going to be able to mess with it he's got his own lava hound he was thinking what i was thinking let's see what happens with his lava hound i got a mega minion i want to drop right there yes sir that looks beautiful let's get musketeer down as well let's go for the three crown I mean, really, though, we kind of deserve it after this madness we're putting up with. Minions do take out Bomber, thankfully. Mega Minion Musketeer working on Lava Pups. Baby Dragon down for Inferno Dragon. Taking out Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, Mega Minion. Minions action. We have so much air, it is ridiculous. We got Lava Hound in the freaking mix. And the tower is locked on to the, both towers locked on to the Lava Hound. That is a dub all day long. Let's get another Musketeer in there. Quick three crown. How can you complain about that? Oh my goodness. He's a level nine. I'm a level seven. How is he able to hang up here? He can't. That's how. 2578, just so you guys know, that is an all-time high. Let's start unlocking this chest and open up this crown chest, hopefully with you guys after this one. Level 10, Mutsu. He is three levels higher than me. Let's see how card out-leveled we really are. I'm going to drop Mega Minion to the back left. He's got Hog Rider. Good thing I got Tombstone, baby. Better yet, I got Tombstone Minions. He zaps, freaking barely doing absolutely anything. And then we're going to get a Musketeer in this mix right now. All these little units will be able to tank for her, her except for when the Wizard comes down. Musketeer locks onto Wizard Oh, so unfortunate she could not take out the wizard. We we got some damage dealt to us, but uh, we're going to have to respond, no doubt about it. Tower should take out wizard before he gets a shot off. Yes, it does. He's got hog, goblin barrel, zap, wizard. I don't really know what kind of deck he's rocking completely yet. We're going to go baby dragon, lava hound. Oof, he drops a giant. Very, very interesting play. Would love to... Oh, baby, I got to respond to those freaking minions right there boom arrows down he goblin barrels the right lava pups doing some work to the left but not enough to mention at all goblin barrel is doing so much work he's get takes the tower down with the freaking goblin barrel that is absolutely insane i wonder what level it is who even knows hog rider doesn't get a shot up that is beautiful minute 30 left are we going to be able to respond and take that left tower is the real question Let's see what happens. Mutsu. Mutsu is putting up a fight, no doubt about it. We are going to do Baby Dragon to the left is what I want. But he might do Giant Minion Horde. So I'm going to save the Baby Dragon because we could use the arrows on the freaking Goblin Barrel. 
or the minion horde what did i what can i can call these people i can call them like it's my job mega minion coming in skeletons musketeer don't allow giant to get one shot off that is absolutely insane mega minion gets two shots off on the tower let's drop a lava hound to the left we have to respond we have to get this freaking lava hound to the oh my god that's a mini pekka oh my god no one mentioned me that there was a mini pekka on the field Oh my goodness, that is absolutely insane. I had no, no idea that was freaking there. Not even a clue. He got Hog Rider. I got Tombstone. I also have a Musketeer, my friend. Let's see how I can respond. I'm expecting Zap to the left. Oh, oh baby, that Zap was dirty. Let's see if I can take it out with Arrows Baby Dragon. Unfortunately, it does not look like I can. He drops Goblin Barrel. Oh, the Goblins don't take the tower. Baby Dragon takes it down. I want to say... He's got some kind, he's got zap. What other direct damage does he have? Just Goblin Barrel? I might be able to stop it, but oh baby, it is going to be a tough one today. We got Tombstone for Hog Rider. We got Arrows for the Minion Horde, but we cannot get rid of the Giant in time. Unfortunately, the level 10 was able to beat the level 7. It happens. At least we got a crown. Loss of 30 trophies. We're going to have to get into another one, obviously. I mean, my goodness. Can I face someone that's a level 7? No. Give him another level 10. See how he does. We're going against Cream Caramel. He's a level 10. See how he can uh, respond a little. So the last guy was a little prepared. I want to say Mega Minions level 7, which is really huge because his is level 6. We got Musketeer Guards coming in for the kill he's got elite barbarians and freaking mega minion we got a tombstone down just in case those barbs got a little cheeky with us a little cheeky we got mega minion musketeer he's got mini pekka i got minions tanking for musketeer oh yeah baby that is a tower takedown oh no he arrows it down absolutely insane 1251 to his left 1545 to my left I think the only thing he's touched me with is his miner, which is level 2. Pretty insane for being down here in the dumps where he freaking belongs. I mean, honestly, though, why are you a level 10 with a level 2 musk miner and you're down in the 2500s? I mean, are you, are you junk? You're looking like junk, pal. Cream Caramel, when I was a level 10, I was soaring through the freaking legendary arena and you barely can hang in the, in the frozen peak. My goodness, Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, take out Minions. Mega Minion to the tower. Smack it down, baby. Smack that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. First tower takedown is from me. We got Lava Hound to the back right. I'm expecting Elite Barb's Miner. Let's see what he's going to respond with. Possibly a give up. I got Tombstone for that, and I got Minions for some extra help. He has Arrows. But they can't come in in time. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. I got Lava Hound coming in. He's got Mega Minion. So I'll also throw my Mega Minion in. He's got a freaking Miner to the left. I can't really respond to it right now. I don't have much Elixir at all. My Mega Minion takes out his. I have Guards coming in with my Lava Hound. Guards, unfortunately, cannot take out the Bomber. So Arrows and... Arrows, oh, the double arrow. I take out his minions and bomber with his arrows. He takes out my lava pups and my mega minion. Let's see how he's going to respond. He's got tombstone. I got musketeer. I got minions for that miner. He wants to end me, but I'm going to end him first. No doubt about it. Baby dragon coming in. Let's see how he's going to respond to this musketeer. Let's see how he is going to respond. He drops a bomber. Uh, it's over for him, really. If you want to think about it like that. Because I have so much and he's barely touched. He's, he's not even going to take my left tower. I It's it's, it's savagery. How, it's a level 7 beating a level 10. I mean, why are you why are you letting this happen to yourself, pal? You must really have some serious regrets about the decisions you've made in your life. Because you are not taking a single tower. I shall not allow it, pal. I shall not allow it. Not today, buddy. Not today. Not happening. Level 10 losing to a level 7. That's just how it goes. Let's open up this crown chest. Maybe super magical? Never gotten one on this account. Would love to get one live on recording. I'm hoping legendary. Let's see if we can get one. If I get one, I want the minor. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, 51 elite barbarians. 2577. Oh, goodness. That's close to an all-time high. Let's go one more time. See who we're going against. Level 9. His name is Gamer. Let's see how tough of a gamer he really is. Not the best starting hand, I'm not going to lie to you. 
So we're going to drop minions in the back left. He's got a knight coming in. Let's drop Lava Hound. We need to protect the minions, whether he's got Musketeer, Wizard, Minion Horde, Ice Wizard's fine. Inferno Dragon is going to be actually dirty against the Lava Hound. Let's see how, let's see how he responds. Oh, he's got Princess, too. Oh, goodness. Minions, Lava Pups take out Inferno Dragon, though, so that's pretty clutch. And... Oh, we didn't really need to arrow that down, but we did anyways. Did some little bit of damage to the tower, not a ton. A better starting hand for sure. It was a rough start. Rough start, rough starting hand. Starting hands definitely change the beginning, I'd say, minute, min, minute and a half of the actual match, without a doubt. Let's drop... Okay, so he's got a golem. Let's go Mega Minion. He's got the knight, he's got the ice wizard, the princess, inferno dragon... We're going to hopefully pull this golem with the tombstone. That would be absolutely clutch. And we're going to drop a musketeer right there for that. Oh, he's got freaking furnace. He's got the freaking furnace. What's going to happen next is going to be very interesting. His ice wizard almost takes out my mega minion and now takes out my mega minion. We're going to arrow this all down. Do some damage to the ice wizard. Get rid of no fire spirits. But the, ba the baby dragon does survive. Which is very clutch. It will tank those fire spirits. And the mega minion will begin to work on the knight with the musketeer. We can drop guards right here just to protect the musketeer. Once again he's got another. Is that a mirror? Does he have a mirror card? My musketeer should take out knight hopefully. No the tower is doing too much damage. Knight survives with one health left. His furnace goes down. This is an interesting one. Let's get into double elixir and see how that goes. Musketeer to the back left. Have to get her down. He hasn't seen. He has seen my lava hound so far. So he's got golem. I'm going in lava hound minions, and let's see how he responds. Ice wizard, princess, inferno dragon, inferno dragon. It is, and it locks on to my minions, which is not bad, because the lava hound was able to do some damage right away. Arrows down for that princess. Hopefully, before she gets a shot off. Yes, before she gets a shot off. Absolutely filthy. We are up, but just barely. He's putting up quite the fight, no doubt about it. Musketeers will take out Inferno Dragon. Musketeers should take out Princess and are now working on the tower with the Baby Dragon. Let's see, minions take out Inferno Dragon, no doubt about it. Mega Minion has to go down. We are severely up, which is fantastic for us. He's, he's trying to push to the left, and I'm not going to allow that. So let's do Lava Hound right here to the left. He's got a Golem. All right, so we're going to need to respond to this golem, no doubt about it. We don't want to get the Ice Wizard in this mix. Fire Spirit should go for Lava Hound. Yes, that's what we needed. So we got Minion, we got min Mega Minion down with the Tombstone Skeletons. We're waiting to see the freaking Princess for the arrows. And let's see how we can respond. So let's arrow this down right now. Do some good damage. Get rid of some fire spirits. That's what we needed. We got some good clumpage coming up, and it doesn't look like he's got a fireball or anything. Baby Dragon, Double Musketeer, Mega Minion, Minions take it for the win in overtime against a level 9. So we went 3-1 and one this video. That's not too bad. We're level 7, didn't even face a level 8, and we're at an all-time high of 2604. This is absolutely insane. Current favorite card is the Lava Hound. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love. Can't get enough of it. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching. All my social media handles are right there. Boom, 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 boom. Links are down in the description. Check them out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down below, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.